Howdy folks, Josh here with the Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. And guys, today we're going to be doing a little bit of boat motor maintenance. Specifically, we're going to be putting a new fuel pump kit on this Mercury 150 outboard so that we can get it back up, running, and on the water. So stick around. Alright guys, a few months ago my buddy Heath bought a used Champion boat, awesome condition, brought it home, we got it fired up, took it out to the lake for a test run, and it fell on its face. And uh, what we noticed was going on was when it would, the motor would stall out, the primer bulb would get extremely soft, it'd lose its prime, we'd prime it back up, it'd run again. That's a good indication of a faulty fuel pump. So what we're going to be doing today is pulling the old fuel pump off of this. I've got a brand new kit from Sierra. We're going to put that thing together, get it back on this motor, get it back out on the water, run it, and make sure everything's going to be good. So guys, let's go ahead and step over to the side of the boat where I've got everything laid out. I'm going to show you the tools we're going to be using in today's project, show you the kit, show you how it goes together. We'll get the old one off, get the new one put back on, and we'll be good to go. All right, you'll see the tool list up on your screen there. In addition to what's shown, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver and a set of needle nose pliers. We're going to start off by removing the cowling from the outboard motor. On these V6 Mercuries, they usually come off in about three pieces. We'll set those aside. And now you want to locate the fuel pump assembly and remove any hose clamps or zip ties that are attaching the fuel lines running from the pump's outlet to the carburetor. Now remove any hose clamps or zip ties from the inlet side of the pump and go ahead and remove that fuel inlet line. While you're there, inspect the fuel line for any signs of deterioration. Some fuel lines have an inner liner that can collapse and cause blockages. Now we'll want to remove the three fuel lines running to the carburetors from the pump's outlet. Using a 5 16 socket, go ahead and loosen the pump's mounting bolts. Once the bolts are no longer in the block, the pump assembly can be removed. You can leave the bolts in place to help keep everything together. You can see the problem on this pump right there. Somebody put the gasket on upside down when they were putting this thing together. Blocked the pulse line down to just a little bit. I think we found our problem. Let's get it fixed. Now you'll want to carefully disassemble the pump layer by layer. Place them onto your workbench in the order they were removed. It's never a bad idea to go ahead and take a photo of the disassembled pump. Now we'll remove the pump inlet cover using a Phillips screwdriver. Once that's off, we can remove the strainer and the O-ring. We'll discard those since the kit has a new one to install. Examine the pump's components and remove any leftover gasket material before we start the rebuild process. I went ahead and put the assembly diagram found in the OEM service manual. If you want to screenshot that for your own reference, go right ahead. Now we'll be rebuilding this pump using the Sierra 18-7812 fuel pump kit. The Mercury part number is also listed below. Go ahead and discard the old gaskets and the fuel pump diaphragm. We're not going to reuse any of those. And using the new gaskets and diaphragm from the kit, arrange the fuel pump components in the correct order on your work area. Reassemble the fuel pump assembly, taking care to ensure that the gaskets and diaphragm are installed correctly. Use extreme caution when installing the diaphragm to avoid tearing it. Once it's assembled, go ahead and examine the pump assembly. Make sure that the pulse ports are not blocked. This one's good to go. Go ahead and install the new strainer and O-ring from your kit, and then install the inlet cover. We're gonna leave the inlet cover slightly loose until the fuel line has been connected. Place the fuel pump assembly against the engine block and tighten the mounting bolts. 
Now reinstall the fuel line to the pump inlet. Tighten the inlet cover until snug, taking care not to over tighten it, which could crush the o-ring. Now reinstall the fuel line clamp to the inlet line. Reinstall the fuel lines from the pump outlet to the carburetors and install fuel line clamps onto each fuel line. Perform one final inspection of the fuel pump assembly. Ensure each fuel line is clamped securely. You don't want any leaks. You can now reinstall the outboard cowling. Take your motor out for a test run. All right, guys, well, that's going to pretty much bring us to the end of this week's video. I hope you saw just how easy it is to put one of these fuel pump kits together. They really shouldn't be intimidating, but a lot of the times they are. The biggest thing with these is keeping all the components in the correct order. When you take them off, keep track of them. When you put it back together, definitely keep track of them. As you saw, one gasket out of place covered that pulse line. That fuel pump pulse had to be extremely weak. So we've got that problem taken care of. This boat's ready to go back out and get on the water. Guys, if this video has helped you out, please take a moment, give it that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, checking me out for the first time, guys, I post a fishing or boating related tip or trick every week. If that's something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and the little bell that's right next to it. That way you don't miss any videos. Guys, we're going to go out, get this thing running, hopefully catch some fish today and enjoy some nice weather. So guys, I appreciate you watching. Until next time, we'll catch you out on the water.